Hello everybody, time to make a video. I made a video a few days ago called uh, Adult Responsibility in which I uh, described the uh, experiences of a young man who uh, uh, embarked on independence at, at a young age before he was 20, uh, went back home to uh, basically help his family and is uh, now attempting to uh, regain that, that, that independence again. And um, I, I could almost make the same video again because I was contacted by, a, I'm not going to, this will be different. I was contacted by another young man who basically described an almost a near identical situation. And uh, although there were some differences, and I wanted to first say to this young man, uh, I really admire um, what you have done in displaying the, 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 in the character that you displayed in helping your parents along. And now that you have the opportunity uh, for independence and you actually are striking out on your own, I admire that as well. But I wanted to address something different with this video. I'm going to title this video um, uh, no, uh, Under No Obligation. And what I basically mean by that, I want to, I want to address what young men uh, seem to very, very want to do um, at, at the cusp of, of maturity or entering manhood. They're, they're, they're heading out into the world. And one of the things that young men seem to do, um, I think too soon, is begin gobbling up responsibility. Looking for responsibility to, to take upon their shoulders, uh, I think in some ways to just demonstrate uh, their abilities and their strength and their character. And what I want to say is, hold the horses. You don't need to take that on too quick. Um, now let me go ahead and outline first the three types of responsibilities that I have in mind. Now there are other types of responsibilities, mainly there are, there are religious responsibilities if you are so inclined. There are uh, responsibilities that come of being a citizen, you know, paying your taxes, uh, military service if you're in a country like that. Now those things, if you're religious and you're a citizen, you're going to have these responsibilities um, and, and throughout your life. So let's just go ahead and, and move those aside because those are the types that you are non-negotiable in some ways. The type I'm talking about are the three responsibilities, the interpersonal responsibilities that this applies actually to men and women both and those three things are basically to parents spouse and children now the parents one um, if you've been fortunate enough to be raised but let's deal with them those three in turn and uh, the parents one if, if you've been fortunate enough to be raised by uh, parents who are who are healthy as you enter into maturity then they're basically going to be independent on their own still at that point and you're going to be basically they're going to you know, kind of you know, help you out of the nest and you're not going to have to worry too much about them they may be still more worried about you than that if you're if, if things don't work out quite like that and you have a parent that you need to uh, to look after then that's another situation altogether I'm not saying that you should neglect your your parents in need um, just because you're young. Um, with regard to the, sec the second one, spouse. When we have a, when we take on a spouse, and I'm talking about a, I'm talking about a marriage partner, not uh, not not other type of relationship, a boyfriend or girlfriend or a live-in relationship. I'm talking about actually making the commitment of a marriage partner. Then you come under obligate. We come under obligations to uh, fulfill um, the responsibilities of our role as a either a husband or or a father. We have to give up certain freedoms uh, for that. Now, ho usually, hopefully, these are going to be in a good balance, and we'll be we'll be ready and eager to to do those. Maybe not as eager all the time, but hopefully ready. Um, the third, ch children. Children are by f are probably the heaviest uh, of the th of the three. Well, I don't know. It depends on. I can imagine different circumstances, but especially at a young age, um, the responsibilities of parenthood are overwhelming in some ways, and you know, a lot of people don't really understand just how what a what a what a burden it can be. A great burden, and it is a burden in any case. Even at best of times, sometimes it's a burden, even though it can be a joyful one. Busan Kevin uh, did a blog post today about uh, how his life had changed with the uh, birth of his son, and how his endeavors, his creative endeavors, have have had he's had to adjust them uh, accordingly to make up for the for the time. Now that's a real good example of a, of a of a mature man who made a decision to become a family man, got married, made a decision to have a child, and is learning to ad adjust to that. Now. Kevin is at the right age for those things, if I can be so bold to, to, to claim that there is an age for that. Um, because basically, in my worldview, I believe that the decade of the 20s is the decade to avoid taking on or postpone taking on those three responsibilities, if at all possible. Now, like I said before, if you have an, uh, a parent that becomes infirm, such as the uh, person that wrote to me in the latter case, um, and then, then and, and, you're, and you are able to, to help them, then that's an obligation that you pro that you should you should endeavor to undertake or to at least facilitate uh, the care for for them um, in, in maybe it's through some other mechanism if you're not able to do it yourself but that that is an obligation hopefully that you can postpone um, if your parents are healthy 
Now comes the other two, marriage and children. Now you can definitely control that. And now you can say, well, what if I get a girl pregnant? Well, I'll come to that in just a second. <laughs> or, or gals, what if, what if I get pregnant? Well, I'll come to that in just a second as well. With regard to um, uh, uh, settling down, um, that's largely under your control. Now, a lot of people rush into it because they're filling a void. It's like a vacuum that they, they're filling in some other way. They feel like they're missing something in their life, or they're or they're eager to to settle down, or they want to catch that one that seems just the right person. And I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna try to say to you guys and you gals, you know, hold your horses because as Molly will point out, um, if you ask him, um, the person that you are when you're 20 is not the person you'll be when you're 30. And the person that you decide to marry when you're 20 is not going to look like the person you married uh, when you guys are 30. I mean, you may not, you'll be lucky if you have a lot in common. Now, I'm one of those that made it through that. I met my girlfriend, uh, now wife, at 24. We've been together 21 years, and we are definitely not the same people we are. But we've have the, we have we have a, a will and a strength to commit and make it through that. That's if I do say so myself. That's a pretty rare thing. A lot of people. A lot of people, uh, um, the statistics show if you get married at, an, at a younger age, the younger you are, the less likely you're going to have, you're going to succeed. Now, but that's not my main concern. Well, the way I'm concerned about that, my main concern is that you postpone these three responsibilities if at all possible. The parent one's trickier, but the marriage and family would definitely postpone that as long as possible for the benefits it will yield. I have this belief that the decade of the 20s is the decade of the self, the decade of the hippie, if I, go, if I can go so far. There are a lot of good, a lot of negative aspects in the hippie, but there are a lot of good aspects as well, a lot of uh, a lot of soul searching, a lot of a lot of discovery, education, in, in uh, um, adventure, um, interpersonal uh, interpersonal interactions, making connections, all these things that come about. This is what I believe the decade of the twenties in the Western world is all about. Remember, my my, my advice and my my ideas are all apply to the world that I grew up in. I can't speak to other cultures. Therefore. I want you guys, and I want this person in particular, the person that wrote to me, I want you to, to enjoy the fruits of that to the fullest, and then begin to take on those other responsibilities at a later age, particularly marriage and family. Postpone postpone, postpone getting married. You can have a girlfriend and you can have the like, but, but postpone taking on the big responsibilities until then. And that comes down to me in my book. I am all for abstinence before marriage, and, that, and because that's the only way that you can really control whether or not a child is going to enter the picture. And if a child enters the picture, picture, if you if you if you're going to ask me, then marriage shortly follows, and then you've got those two big ones on on your shoulder, and uh, it's it's it, your obligations come full swing. You are fully obligated at that point to to endeavor. You basically have to sacrifice a good part of your life for that, and I don't want you to see you guys doing that too soon. So, um, why am I addressing this to this? Why am I saying this? And why am I doing it in regards to the person that wrote to me? Well, he is in a particular situation where he seems to be, in his long message that he sent to me, he seems to be a serial um, obligation taker honor. <laughs> If I can say it like that. Although he hasn't entered marriage and he hasn't entered uh, entered uh, fatherhood, although he's kind of a surrogate father, he's been caring for, for uh, someone else's kid, he seems he's displaying the characteristics of doing it and you're doing it too soon. And although it's a great thing that you're doing, helping your friend out and with him, with his life and his kids and helping that one woman out with her kids, these are obligations you don't need to take on at this point. These are adults who took on their, who, took, who made choices that brought those responsibilities upon themselves. You are not obligated to set sacrifice your life for another unless you get someone pregnant or you put a ring on their finger. And a, well, you know, a ring and finger may be a little more negotiable. You know, once the kid comes around, I, unless there's abuse, abuse, uh, uh, unless there's serious stuff going on, abuse, uh, addiction, um, uh, you know, adulterous behavior, unless that kind of stuff's going on, then I'm all for trying to stick it out. So what I'm, my message to you, my friend, is, is you are doing, you are sacrificing yourself too soon. You are giving up your independence to help others who have made the choice to give up theirs. You don't need to do that. You can go out, go it out, go out on your own at this point in your life and, and create your life. Do not feel guilty if you leave, if you strike out on your own and let your friend take care of his kids. Nor are you responsible for that woman and her kids. She has her own network. It's great if you try to help that. If it's great if you're if if you want if you choose that you want to do that. But you will be missing out on a lot of things that are your you're right at this time in your life. And likewise for everyone else, I want you guys to avoid uh, marriage and family too soon, and, and but look after those parents whatever stage of life that comes about. And if you do get a girl pregnant, or your girl, if you do get pregnant, well then it all falls into, into place, and it's your time to uh, step up. Man up, woman up, and uh, live that life. And I'm gonna close off now, because I'm closing in on basically the end of the evening and the 10 minute mark. So ha thank you guys for listening. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and remember, 
You're under no obligation until you accept that obligation yourself. Bye.